High above the Arizona desert at the Kitt Peak National Observatory sits the 3.5 meter wind telescope. The Wind Observatory demonstrates the many important technologies that enable modern telescopes to achieve better performance than previously thought possible. Wind is the primary research telescope for IU astronomers, and its innovative enclosure, open to the night sky, helps to assure that the telescope produces excellent images. Inside the enclosure, the telescope can be pointed anywhere in the sky through motion on two axes, rotating around the compass points and tilting from vertical to horizontal. The telescope is compact, just fitting inside the enclosure as it swings around. The compact size and small enclosure also improves image quality. The enclosure protects the telescope from wind and weather and can rotate to place the open shutter so the telescope can view the sky. When the mirror cover opens, we can see the telescope's primary mirror, a bowl-shaped surface of glass that forms an image of the sky where the telescope is pointed. A complex hydraulic system pushes and pulls on the back of the primary mirror to hold the front surface at exactly the right shape to produce sharp images. This mirror support system prevents the front surface from warping as the mirror tips away from the zenith. Cool air blows into pockets inside the mirror to maintain a constant, uniform temperature. Before observations begin, a technician inspects the mirror support system to assure it is working properly. The wind telescope uses three mirrors to produce images. The largest, the primary mirror, collects a beam of starlight 3.5 meters in diameter and brings it to a focus above the primary mirror. A second mirror, suspended in space above the primary mirror, intercepts the converging beam from the primary before it reaches the focus, and reflects the beam back down towards the center of the primary mirror. The secondary mirror surface curves outward so that the telescope beam converges more slowly and extends the distance to focus further from the primary mirror. Before the slowly converging beam from the secondary mirror reaches focus, a third mirror reflects the beam sideways to one of two focus positions on either side of the telescope, where instruments can detect and analyze the light. The third mirror is flat and does not change the distance to focus. Mounted at one of the two side ports of the telescope is Wynn's new high-tech imaging camera with 200 megapixels. The camera operates at liquid nitrogen temperatures to allow astronomers to detect and study faint stars and galaxies. As the sun sets and stars appear, the astronomers complete their preparations for the night's observing. Once the sky is fully dark, the real work begins. IU astronomer Catherine Rohde is using the new camera to study star clusters around distant galaxies. Her research helps us understand how galaxies formed and evolved in the early universe. Messier 51 the Whirlpool Galaxy is a beautiful spiral galaxy like our own Milky Way. This image of the Whirlpool was obtained with a new camera on the Wind Telescope and demonstrates both the excellent quality of images from the Wind Telescope and the value of Wind's large field of view, nearly as large as the full moon. <laughs>